Hi there, and welcome to another one of my classic reviews, where I pick one of my all-time favourite movies, give it a rewatch, and then come review it. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Mirror, or The Mirror, which is a film by my all-time favourite director, Andrei Tarkovsky. So Andrei Tarkovsky was a Soviet film director, best known for many masterpieces such as Ivan's Childhood, Andrei Rublev, Solaris, and my personal favourite, Stalker. So Mirror comes right in the middle of his filmography from 1975, and it's an interesting work all about memory and dream and it's about an odd sort of look at reality and a look at perhaps Tarkovsky's own life and about life in general. It's a film which is very hard to pin down and I think it's a very personal work to the director who is known for making very emotional and religious themed movies. And Mirror is a very spiritual experience. It's not a movie which is inherently cerebral but to get to the real depths of it requires a level of spiritual thought or an ability to kind of just comprehend a film which is so not rational. Mirror is not necessarily pretentious. In fact, I think one of the biggest mistakes people have with this film is they often mistake it for being a film which has some deep-rooted meaning. It's not trying to really say anything. But what it is trying to be is a collection of memories, a collection of vignettes, a collection of moments that throughout the narrative make up a life, but by themselves they're individual sections. Mirror is not a film that can be really comprehended. It's formless, plotless. It has nothing to really say as a whole, it's just a collection of moments that perhaps make up the memory of one person. One of the things that's interesting about Mirror is that the memories don't clearly come from one person. In fact, some of the memories clearly come from peripheral people to one person. So it's almost like memories are passed down or like a family's memories are shared or that maybe it's a collection of memories which are in and of themselves just kind of separate and they happen to be put together in a film. In fact, maybe the film itself is a statement of what film can be. But regardless, the film is just a collection of moments and those moments make up many many things. So some of those moments are really trivial, some of those moments are dreamlike, some of those moments are about time and history, some of those moments are about the present, some of them are about love, some of them are about that feeling of loneliness, a lot of them are about nature, there's just endless shots of nature, there's so many beautiful images in Mirror, all of which are worth analysing just for how well made they are. Mirror is a film which has everything, it has so much to offer any viewer willing to really dig in to what a series of images could mean because they don't mean anything inherently but put together they form a whole and that whole is the life of one person. In fact, what, uh, much of the debate of Mirror of what even is the film because it is so plotless. Some might argue it is the dreams of one man, some might argue it's more than that, some might argue it's like a collection of viewpoints as seen from a child or the opposite, from an elderly person on their deathbed or someone in the middle. It's a very fascinating world. So first of all, Mirror is very personal to Andrei Tarkovsky. Quite clearly there's moments here which come from his own life and there's also moments here that come from his parents' life. So it's definitely a film which it relies a lot on Tarkovsky's own personal feelings and it's clearly a very personal film to the director. This is his most personal work and I think of all of Tarkovsky's films, this is the film that is really the most Tarkovsky-esque. That isn't to say it's the film to start with if you want to get into Tarkovsky. No way, it's really not the ideal film to get into because it is a film which requires some level of familiarity with what Tarkovsky tends to do with his films. Having said that, it isn't like any of his other films either because his other films at least are linear. This isn't even that. Time means nothing in Mirror. In Mirror, time is just an abstract concept. Moments jump around in history and there is no perspective to them. In fact, characters don't even age the right way. There's certainly a point to be made about the mother character in Mirror, who's not even necessarily played by an actress who represents the mother. In fact, the concept of mother is a key thread throughout Mirror. Of all the moments that connect, the most significant connecting factor is maternity and is the love of a mother, or perhaps the hatred of a mother, or perhaps the way a, a child doesn't love their mother. In fact, so many moments in Mirror really come down to that child-mother relationship, which really is the crux of like, what I think Tarkovsky is getting at with his look at memory. In fact, maybe our entire memory comes down to our maternal relationships and so much of Mirror is based on that, so much of Mirror is based on the moments of childhood when you're with your mother and similarly the moments in adulthood where you look back and you regret things that happened with, between you and your mother and I think that's what makes this film really really emotionally damaging because I think everyone can connect to that feeling of love that people have for their mothers or if they can't they at least understand that relationship and that dynamic and I think it's really interesting the way that Mirror breaks this down or at least gives you an example which is 
concrete, which is a real example of someone's relationship with their mother. Whether or not you relate to that relationship is a different question, but it's something that's tangible in a film which is really quite intangible in the way that it jumps around, and yet it feels perfectly natural. Every single second of Mirror perfectly flows from one second to the next. It is a film that completely entirely cuts on emotion and not logic. Chronology means nothing, time means nothing, because in a way when we ourselves flick through our memories, we don't look at them in a way that is chronological. We look at them through emotional moments that connect. We only remember the happy stage of our life. We aren't remembering them in an order that makes sense. And Mirror has no chronology either. Mirror just flicks around and cuts on emotion. It cuts on the moments where one moment just reminds you of another. And that's how it works. It works on the level of subconsciously going through life and picking out the moments that make up not even necessarily a person, they don't even define who a person is, but they certainly define the moments of life that ultimately you remember. Mom moments will stick with you even if they don't impact you. And the other thing to really remember about Mirror is it has a lot of historical context. In fact, the film makes a point of using stock footage from history. In fact, it's almost like the film is reminding us that history informs our opinion. In fact, as scenes go on, you learn greater and greater context about the earlier scenes of the film, and the context that expands around each moment doesn't reshape them, it just really gives you more to think about regarding what that moment might mean. And those moments by themselves really do mean nothing, they really are just fleeting images of what life may or may not be. On top of that though, this isn't just a film of memory, some of these are very abstract moments. There is moments of water crashing through houses, there's moments of people levitating, there's moments of people disappearing. In fact, a lot of the film is just a camera moving through an empty location, just nature or just an empty building where the human presence is slowly vanishing. In fact, there's a couple of signs of genuine weirdness where you really do feel the ethereal disappearance of a, of a person. In fact, the moments of Mirror that really stand out are often the non-showy ones. The ones that I always come back to are the moments of just nature, of just a child walking, of just people sat on a fence, of people just talking. In fact, there's moments in Mirror that are filled with beautiful imagery as well. There's obviously the infamous shot of the house on fire or the barn on fire. There's also wonderful tracking shots. There's a wonderful section right at the end where music kicks in and it's just a burst of tears for me. It's fantastic as a film that just is so human because I think like no other film it captures how memories work. It captures the way they link between each other, it captures the way that they all interconnect and it captures the way that they build up who we are because this is a film which isn't really about anything because all of us, if you were to take your own memories, they don't have a statement. They aren't saying a political message, they aren't saying anything. What they are saying is who you are. And maybe it's about this fictional person, or maybe not, maybe it is Tarkovsky's dream that is ultimately the memories of Mirror. Maybe it's Tarkovsky's father, that's also been a suggestion some people have put forward. Or maybe it is just a fictional character that uses memories from both. Whatever it is, this is Tarkovsky transferring a life over. He is transferring his own ideas, or perhaps real memories, into a fictional character who is then transported into a film and then transported to us. He is passing on moments, and that is the most important thing here. This is a film which is so endlessly, wonderfully watchable and wonderfully intriguing and just beautiful. It is really a human film that works for everybody, I think. I understand that some people will find this difficult. It is not conventional, it is rule-breaking, it is out there. It's certainly pushing the boundaries of what you expect from a film. But, like few other films have ever really done, I think it really says a lot about who we are and what a person is. It really is one of those films that tells you what life is, and it does it very, very simply. It isn't using fancy special effects, it isn't using fancy metaphors, it's just showing you moments. And one of the things that I always find really, really, really profound about Mirror is that it makes you reconsider who I am, it makes you reconsider my own memories, it makes you reconsider what memories I would use to represent my own life. And I feel like that's so profound, that, that realisation that we are just a collection of memories in many ways, and in fact, that build-up of memory and emotion, and our life is just an accumulation of experiences, memories, moments, is what makes Mirror so ultimately enticing, because we can all understand that idea that really, we aren't anything except that. We are simple, weird creatures in that mental headspace that we exist in. And another thing about Mirror is, Mirror isn't even necessarily physical. There's an, definitely an implication that some characters are not even like a physical image. In fact, I think specifically the mother is quite obviously a mental image in the 
view of the film. The actress playing the mother plays another character, and I think part of that is because the mother doesn't genuinely look like her. And the mother is a fictional representation of the memories of the mother. And I feel like that's a step that Tarkovsky took to emphasise the fact that memories are fleeting and they are wrong and they are incorrect, but that doesn't change their importance in our lives. And yes, Mirror is certainly a film that requires a level of pretentious discussion. I think it's a certainly a film which you can watch and just go, oh, this is just garbage, this is just ridiculous. And yes, it might not mean anything I've said it ever possibly could mean, because maybe it doesn't. I tell you it means nothing and then I tell you what it means. So I'm obviously being hypocritical to some extent here, but at the same time, I think that's genuinely the point. I think the meaning of Mirror is that it means nothing except showing you a life. And I think showing you a life, fictional or otherwise, is something that so few films ever capture in the way Mirror does. This isn't a biopic, this is a series of moments which may or may not be real, but ultimately define who somebody is and who somebody's family is and who somebody is on the inside. It is a mental image captured in a physical form, and so Mirror is just the grandest of all grand cinema. It's a humbling experience to watch, and I think it's one of those films that really, really holds up. I think it's a film that Tarkovsky really put all his heart and passion into. And although Andre Tarkovsky has made many magnificent films, and I thoroughly recommend every single one, like seriously, the dude's career is ridiculous. He made seven feature films, and they're all masterpieces. This is fantastic cinema. Mirror's one of his best works. If you haven't seen Tarkovsky, don't necessarily start with this one. I'd recommend Stalker or Solaris or Ivan's Childhood as an entry movie for Tarkovsky. But if you've seen Tarkovsky movies, definitely check out Mirror. It's one of his best. And even if you haven't, maybe just give it a shot because who knows, maybe you will find profundity in its most mundane of features. It is really, really fascinating. It's a true cinematic legend. And it's one of those rare films that might genuinely be flawless. Like, genuinely in terms of how well made it is, I can't think of a single technical fault I really have of Mirror. It's just this utterly bizarre colour palette of weirdness with gliding camera work. Like, the colour palette in Mirror's nuts. It goes from colour to black and white to sepia, and it's all so beautiful. There isn't even colour in our own memories, so the way Mirror captures that is wonderful. I love the way the cinematography just glides. I love the way the actors really embody stillness and thoughtfulness and they aren't necessarily giving big performances, they're giving subtle performances. It's a real technical masterpiece as well as a fantastically profound movie. Mirror, one of the very, 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 very best of cinema and one of the finest works ever made by any artist ever. I think this is a genuine work of art and on top of that it's a great film too. So Mirror, classic. Have you seen Mirror? I'd love to hear your responses because I think everyone's going to have a very unique personal response to Mirror and I'd love to hear what you guys think of it so leave me a comment. If you like this video give it a like and you can subscribe if you want to hear more of my reviews and rants and stuff. You can follow me on Letterboxd or Twitter, links in the description and thank you for watching.